Okay guys, back out here. It's uh, Tuesday night. Held off working on the hood a little bit. I just made Junior an extension cord. I've had that wire for shit over 25 years. I had two pieces of it. One, I put the connectors, the seven pin connector for a camper. So that allowed me to plug into my truck and be nowhere near my camper when we're at the beach because I was running um, three batteries in the camper, three batteries in my truck. And that allowed me to just plug into my truck, start up my truck. My truck had two alternators and it. it was pretty cool. And just charge up throughout the day for like an hour. And then when nighttime came, you know, it was unlimited power. Um, when I got rid of the trailer, I actually gave it to somebody and I don't know what ever happened to the cord. But I had a remaining piece, and I said to Junior, I knew where it was, it was buried. Buried in some crap behind the shed. And it had a twist lock connector on there. You know, 230 volt twist lock. So we ordered the ends, I wound up actually switching, giving him my end. Over the end he ordered. Um, and I hooked it right to here. And I made it to the end of my driveway, so it's 50 feet long. So I, when he first grabbed it, he goes, Dad, I think it's like 25 feet. I said, oh, okay, that'd be cool because this is midway in the garage. I mean, you can go midway outside because I got a slab on the side. And you can go out there, you can weld and do whatever, you know, easy cleanup over there. Um, but now that it's 50 feet, <laughs> he can go much further. And the gauge is... Uh, I think the gauge was 10 gauge. Yeah, I know this cord is short, but it's only 14 gauge. Obviously, the longer the cord, the uh, thicker the wire you need. Um, I'm looking to break that in half. I'd actually make that, like to make that 225 foot extension cords. So, if he's doing some real heavy stuff, we'll see if that cord can handle it. If not, we'll chop it in half. Um, I don't picture us being any more than 25 feet plus to at least a 5 foot cord here, if not a little more. Yeah, it's probably, it was probably a little more being 30 feet from my work plus the leads, so a good 35 feet. Uh, I don't see that happening. You don't use MIGs much outside. The wind blows away the gas and it becomes useless. Um, but the TIG also takes the same plug, so that uh, baby's hiding back there. Um, so that's good. I got that done. I just wanted to get that done for him. So tomorrow I can come out and weld. Uh, I looked in my storage unit. That trim is not in my storage unit. That trim is somewhere in the house. Um, but that is my next project. I want to finish that. I got... Oh yeah. Look at this. No toolbox. It's complete without a 9 16 That looks like that. Well, I didn't even realize it was broken. What a surprise. And bent. <laughs> so I mean, somebody hung on it. But look at the end. It's square. Okay, now, now I can put it away with the crap. There you go, lost forever. I got um, a pair of snubbers. Okay, look just like the ones that were on the car. The short with the Phillips in the center. So now we have to adapt something to go in there. I uh, really not adapt anything. I want to go to the store and look at the stainless steel washer selection and find something that's obvious a tad bit bigger than this okay i'm sure this battery's gonna go dead again but i want to sit this on a stainless steel washer since we opened up that hole even though this will cover it it'll just allow me to just i think it'll look nice and i want to get a matching nut for the bottom um and that's all that's required okay um just sits on there i'm just gonna sit there so we'll do that We'll, do, we'll actually do that next. Um, I'll take this with me. We'll do that uh, tomorrow. Don't ask me why I ordered another bag of these screws, but I did. I didn't realize I still had a bag that I only took like two out of. I just like the screws. It's hard to find them without the slot in them. So, and the whole car takes them, so I might as well just keep using them. Um, but, uh,. That's about it. That's all that's happened here today. Was I made the extension cord and received some stuff in the mail. I also received that latch in the mail for the Hornet Gremlin stuff, 77 and older. 
Uh, I knew before I got it it wasn't going to work. I ordered it without looking at the one on the car. It's shaped totally different. So I knew by the time I got here we, we would be long past that, which we are. So I'll just toss that to the side. It really wasn't that expensive. And it's a nice condition and it came with the whole front bar. So, um, with that, tomorrow either Junior's going to find the one that's all pockmarked or the next video you see with the trim it's going to be covered in green tape and uh, so in case I drop it so I compared the front of it nice you know the edges where it lines up I got to keep to a decent thing because I want to be able to put it on fine tune this piece of metal and then just cut a tiny square in here and put a couple of tacks in there and grind it so that'll get rid of this edge even though you won't see it that'll be my way of neatening it the original piece didn't come out that far anyway so we'll just pick an area come down hit it with the Rolex wheel to match it you know and a couple of welds a couple on the corner that'll be all we'll do that on both sides and see more complete and this one I half round in it but either way uh, this back in here the underpinnings are the way they are and this will be the way it is when you bolt that on this piece of metal will be behind it so the only thing you're going to see is the curvature of the hood behind it so that'll be more than fine it's not going to look hacked um, even though this original piece when you feel it did have a little lip to it we're good without it uh, we'll be just fine and that allow me to start doing some body work and I'm gonna come in here and I, I know it was hard to understand what I'm saying the top opening the outer skin is done right the inner skin is where this jut is so if we could just make this equal coming around maybe we'll just slip a piece of tin in there and uh, I'll put tape to the upper metal so no bondo sticks maybe we'll hit it with some short strand and some regular stuff just blend it out I mean it's obviously not going to look like the fact your rib there's going to be a half circle in it but you know what I mean as long as it doesn't have this jagged edge you know if it didn't come out so jagged and it just had a slit I probably would just leave it uh, most people that cut the things leave it some guys get elaborate some guys actually put flat stock around the whole opening and make a little tiny lip like a quarter inch lip I'm like yeah okay that'll turn this hood into an eight month project uh, so could also do it right there but it would take a thick piece of metal to do that um, we could have wrapped it but this opening is even when you squeeze it together you're gonna have to get down to this lower part right here so that opening is at least a half inch and I think a half inch piece of metal there looks stupid so we'll come up with something we'll come up with something that's gonna happen after the hoods off the car so let's just take care of the important stuff first <laughs> 